Hello and welcome, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a Minecraft server on whatever version your Minecraft is on. For example, uh, in the future date it might be 1.8.2 or whatever it is. At the moment I'm on 1.7.4, so let's go ahead and start. If you haven't seen my 1.6.4 already, you can go check that out, it might be a bit better than this, but for the only reason I'm making this one is to clarify that every single version of Minecraft that has ever been created is available for use. Um, basically, it, every single Minecraft server that has ever been made on a Mac is exactly the same each way, so there's no other way that you can make one really, besides using a match, which is kind of cheating and isn't as good as actually making a legit one. So what you want to do is you'll want to download the Minecraft server.jar, which is basically what the server runs on. So if we go onto the Google Chrome, where do you where do you get this? Um, you can actually go ahead and go to minecraft.net slash download. So then you'll be brought to this page and you can scroll down all the way down until you find the Minecraft server dot one point seven point foo foo four dot jar for a Mac. So then we download this and here we go, here we have it. So then we want to create a folder, name it whatever you want, but uh, let's just call it Archie Server. Server. There we go. You can colour code it if you want. Let's go nice yellow. Or did I just click orange? So yellow. There we go. Then we can drag the Minecraft uh, server.jar file into the server folder that you just created. So now we have this. We have in the folder we have the jar file that you downloaded. So the next thing we want to do is we want to create the start dot command which is the command that starts up your server so what I do is go to setting up a server wiki dot bucket or dot org setting up a server so you can do this yourself like you can I'll put the code in the description well you can't really use it you can't copy and paste it like it is done here so what I do is uh, in the link there will be a link in the description to here and you'll press you'll you'll come to this page and you'll click Mac OS X and you'll see this code you can then highlight all of it and you'll press command V you can then that will copy it oh no not command V that's that's paste command C and that will copy it you can then exit out the um, Google Chrome and we can go up to our spotlight and we can type in text edit so now we've got text edit open you can then go and press command V and we can paste that in so now what you can see craft bucket jar that's quite similar to minecraft underscore server dot jar but it's 1.7.4 so what we want to do is we want to just delete this here there we go so then we want to type minecraft underscore server dot 1.7.4 dot jar so this is what we have here and this is what we have here so for example if you in the future date you might have 1.9.2 uh, or something like that so whatever your version is you'll just put at the end so whatever your, your the file that you download with the jar file you'll just go ahead and write here so for it, I, I'm going to show you now I'm on version 1.7.4 so let's just change this to 1.9.2 so I'll, I'll prove that it actually works so there we go we have 1.9.2 and it says exactly whatever it says here it says here so what is this file this little equation is saying here really is saying hello computer can I please open this file and use it in my Mac OS terminal so what we want to do then is go to format and make plain text so now this is just an ordinary like normal 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 so it can be transferred into any other file so that's good so now what we want to do is we're going to press save as we go to file and you press save as and this most poor bit you want to name it as start if we go back start dot dot command that's what we name it as we we'll save it and you can save it on your desktop and then we want to drag it into the archie server or whatever your your you know your folder is called and then once you've done that 
you want to go up to, up to your spotlight again and you want to type terminal. Once you've done that, once you've opened up terminal, you can then wait for it to load. And once it's loaded, you can type chmod, a, I mean a space, a plus x, space. You then want to, that's, this, this is the little thing you want to write there, and you then want to drag your file into the terminal and press enter. So now that is loaded that file for it, because so it, so it loads. So now if you double click on that start.command, it should, in theory, start creating your Minecraft server. As you can see here, at the moment it's preparing the spawn 8%, 14%. And once this is done, uh, if it creates itself, it takes a little, a little bit, you know, a little bit of time. Once it's created, you just want to stop it. Well, not straight away, but you just want to stop it by typing. So as you can see, it's done now. It is done. And then all you want to do, as you can see, it's also a Minecraft, actual Minecraft server here. So if we go into the terminal, because I like the terminal look, we can type stop. And that will stop the server. So now process completed and the server stopped. As so now as you can see, your your world is done. Your world has been created. You have the whitelist if you want to enable it in the server.properties. You're allowed to have ops. You're also allowed to have um brand players and all that kind of stuff. So now how do I give how do my friend join? Because that's the whole reason you want a multiplayer server, obviously. So the IP that you want is a IP that you'll get on your um, computer. So if you type in whatismyip.com, you can press enter. And it's going to be obviously blurred out for me, for you, because I don't want you to see my IP, obviously. So there we go. So that's my IP, and that this will be your IP right here. Right here where it says IP and then a bunch of numbers. So, yeah. There we go. So that's your IP, your copy. You can go Command C and XE out of it, and then you can go press Control V into Minecraft, and there we go. When your server stayed up, and you can also, if you're put, if you have just port forward and you want to check, you can also go. What is um, is my port open? And then there, there is actually a quite literal. Um, like an actual website are like showing you if your ports are open. Mine won't be. Mine's open, obviously, but I don't think it will say it's open because I haven't got the server running. As you can see, it's not open at the moment because my server is not running at the moment. So if my server was running and I press start the command, then it would be saying that it works. So this is about all it is to making a Minecraft server. It is really, really that simple. So. I thank you for watching, and oh, actually, you know what? I, I think I might give you some proof. You might not be believing me about this, so let's just stop the com the command a bit, and then we're well, not a bit. We're gonna start up. Oh, there we go. As you can see, we have a lot of stuff going on down here, but as you can see, the Minecraft is going on here, but it's just turned itself off by accident, I believe. Oh no, it hasn't, no, it hasn't. I thought it turned it off because I accidentally clicked Minecraft server, the jar file, instead of the Minecraft launcher. So if I log on to myself now, and I paste my IP in what I copied, I can then go ahead and play on it. So here we go, I'm on Minecraft 1.7.4. I'll go to multiplayer, then go to add, control V, there's my IP. Press done. Join, as you can see, it's open, it's open. Click on it, join server. By login. And there we go, I'm actually physically in my Minecraft world at the moment. I can, oh, I accidentally just clicked out of that, oops. <laughs> I can actually physically delete blocks and no lag, no nothing. So there we go. This is my Minecraft server that I've just created. And it is lag free really when it comes to thinking about it it's obviously going to be less laggy if you bought a server 
uh, for like if you want to actually run one. If you want one just for you and your friends and you want to muck around, this is the one for definitely for you. So let me just exit out of this and I'll tell you a few commands. So op ridinator 99 will op me through the console, which is the terminal basically. And then you can say um, message, you can also message people, uh, you can also, you don't type slash in here because there's no slash help. For example, saying nope, you can't do that, you've got to type help for that. And it will give you all that stuff. So if you want to stop the server, you can just type stop and it will stop the server. For some reason it can't process the command, so, oh yeah, because that's already open. As you can see, op, ring 99 and that will opt me. See, it's opt me. And then we can uh, say hello. And the server will physically say hello on the game. It'll come up in purple and yellow right and say server has said hello. Oops, sorry, pardon me. And that is basically all it is to a server. So you should do now is type stop. Oh, uh, it's got to be in lowercase. So there we go. The server has been saved and it is done. It is done. So I thank you for watching and um, please share this video and I, I know it's quite a lot to ask but sharing the videos really helps me and don't forget to subscribe, like the video, comment on what you thought, if it worked or not. I really want to know if it did. I will co reply to your comments so don't forget to check daily if I have or not. So if, if, if I haven't, comment again with your problem and what is, hasn't worked and I will get back to you. So I'll see you later guys. Bye.